Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Aguncha. The Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal is holding its first sitting to address petitions filed by four political parties challenging the outcome of the presidential election. Present at the tribunal is the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Peter Obi. The five-man panel is led by President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Zainab Bakachua. Benue State Governor Samuel Otom says over 680,000 people have been displaced with property worth over 400 billion naira destroyed by suspected herdsmen in Benue State. The governor said this while speaking at a program at the University of Nigeria in Suka. Senate President Bukola Saraki has condemned the recent move by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC to probe him, saying it is a witch hunt which is politically motivated. The anti graft agency is investigating Saraki for alleged conspiracy, abuse of office, misappropriation of public funds, theft, money laundering uh, during his tenure as governor of Kwara State. Members of the Nigerian Labour Congress have staged a protest at the Asukuru residence of the Minister of Labour. Chris Ngige over the delay in the inauguration of the National Social Insurance Trust Fund NSITF. The protesters, led by NLC General Secretary Peter Esong, is accusing the minister of working against the inauguration of the NSITF for selfish reasons. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, says the federal government has approved the construction of the Wari Seaport at a cost of $3.9 billion. He also reviewed that the government has awarded contracts for Abuja Wari Rail Line, adding that about $45 billion is needed to complete rail development in Nigeria. Well, South Africans are voting in presidential and parliamentary elections in what is being seen as a pivotal poll after years of corruption scandals that have plagued the Rainbow Nation. Some 26.8 million voters are registered to cast ballot at uh, 22,925 polling stations. Now, polls opened at 7 a.m. and will close 14 hours later. The federal government has charged Amadjo Pinnick, president of the Nigeria Football Federation, and four others to court for the alleged misappropriation of $8.4 million belonging to the federation. The 17-count charge was filed by the Special Presidential Investigative Panel on the recovery of public property. And that's it on news on the newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.